How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. As you can see, the day we've got the Leicester City man who uh, crept his way in the team of the season. I think he's got like eight goals and ten assists or something for Leicester City this year. Who um, had a decent year, not an amazing year. I think like Newcastle's around their area right now, so uh, that kind of puts it in perspective. But Riyad Mahrez is in the team of the season, uh, and he's got uh, wow, just an amazing card. This card is bloody brilliant in terms of stats, in terms of what he brings to the table, and in terms of price. You look at the price in top left and top right, 280 to 300k is all that he's going for, and I say all that he's going for, because I reckon this card, and I'll spoil it already, is comparable to Lionel Messi's Team of the Year card on this game, due to the speed that he comes out of skills, man, he's got 99 agility, and the 5 star skills as well, as a 4 star weak foot, this card is very, very good, so lads, if you do enjoy this review on Riyad Mahrez, and you want to see someone like Lukaku next, David Silva, someone at the back, someone in Nets, let me know in the comments section below, I'll review someone else later today, so you can look forward to that as well. But lads, if you do enjoy this one, you know what to do. Bring the hype to the review and smash it, lads. Absolutely smash it. Throughout Team of Season, throughout the EPL Team of Season, uh, the most consistent, the EFL, you've bloody nailed it, man. So thank you so damn much for your support on this channel. The comments are through the roof. The likes are through the roof. The support on the channel is through the roof. So I just want to go on record to say thank you so damn much for that. So if you do enjoy, like the video. And lads, let's just get into it. So here we go. Now, I did mention the price of the card, and I've got to say, he is very, very cheap. I bought him for free. 10. I thought, you know what? That's a bargain for the card. And then he's dropped even cheaper. Obviously, uh, it's due to the, the, the team of the season, like, guaranteed SBCs and stuff like that. But it's also due to the fact that he is 91 rated. And some people might look at that and think, you know what? There's kind of higher right wingers. You look at Sterling. I think Sterling's like a 93, is he? I'm not too sure on that one. But you can correct me if I'm wrong. So uh, they look at that and you go, you go off the rating. But going off in games and stuff like that, you've got to go Riyad Mahrez. I mean, he's got five star skills. He's got a four star weak foot movement is uh, lackluster with the card. He's got medium to medium, which um, it, it is a problem, and I'll get into that and why once we hit the gameplay. He's played 15 games for me. Uh, a lot of them were kind of rage quits in the first, like, 10 minutes and stuff like that, so I didn't really get the stats up. He scored 10 and assisted, like, twice, but his wing player and his creativity uh, is very, very good. What I wanted to try with the card was uh, the skills. The skills. I, w I wanted to see if he's got the skills to pay the bills, and you will see in the first clip, he definitely has that. He's got 99 agility, 93 balance, Reactions, 82. That could be seen as a negative, but I didn't really see that as a negative with the card. I've just seen his movement. And despite his attacking position of 96, his movement was a negative. And you can see on the right-hand side, another negative on the card. But before we get to that, 97 ball control, 97 dribbling. You look at the finishing on the card. It's 90. Shot power, 92. And long shots, 87. That is a lie. It's like 97. It's so damn good on this game. Acceleration, 93. Sprint speed, 87. The strength is 64. And the aggression, it's 50. 50 aggression, he's got no fighting in him whatsoever, but what he does have in him is skills, skills, skills. Look at that rainbow flick, takes a touch on his kind of shin or his knee or something like that, and he puts it in the back of the net. That game I did lose, by the way, I got smashed. Was it smashing or was it 2-1? It was something like that, smashing or 2-1, I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah, I've not been playing well, but what with me not playing well, Riyad Mahrez has been playing well, he's been... Uh, and even though you lose on this game, you lose and you think, you know what, I, I can't be asked with this game. But if you've got an enjoyable play that brings enjoyment to you, uh, you just carry on and you keep playing and playing and playing despite losing and losing and losing, uh, which I've been doing just because of Riyad Mahrez. He's so damn enjoyable on this game. Uh, like I said, if I had an enjoyment factor for cards at the end, and I might just add this in, you know, in the future, this guy would get a 10 out of 10. He's so damn enjoyable with those five-star skills, with the agility to come out of the skills at 99. Uh, he is very, very good. And as you see the long shots, they're a lie. The stat is, no, the keeper actually jumped past that one. The shot power was crazy, but that wasn't the first time. It's not the last time we'll see a long shot in this review. But what he provides in long shots, he also has this subtleness to them where he can just do what he wants. Look at that heel to heel. Goes inside the area and he chips it with his weak foot over the top of the keeper. And when it comes to the weak foot, there's like nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It's four star. So, um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with his weak foot whatsoever as he goes into that Coutinho celebration in the background with David Silva and Lukaku. And so, yeah, it was a great finish after a great piece of skill in the midfield. And you've just seen how fast he comes out the heel to heel. He just, he left the defender for dust. I mean, the defender was like, which world am I in? This is crazy. But Mamares, he does that to defenders, does that to full backs, and he does that to midfielders wherever he goes on the field. Look at this. No back lift whatsoever. And he hammers it, man. Absolutely hammered it right in the top corner there, Riyad Mahrez. I think I conceded in that game. I was basically kick off, and I thought, you know what? Mahrez is that good. Let's just have a shot, man. And it paid off.
off. It really did pay off. The shot power is crazy with the card. Like I said, the long shots are very, very, very OP with Riyad Mahrez. So if you do get in range, don't be afraid. Just bloody bang it with Mahrez. Or alternately, you can go skilled. That's why I didn't get many assists with the card. You might be wondering why I didn't get many assists. I've already explained it, but... I just wanted to experience the card and have fun with the card, and I definitely had fun, despite me. Look, I'm getting beaten this one. I'm 5-2 down. I'm still having fun with the card. I'm still kind of taking on players. I'm still doing skills. I'm still scoring goals with Riyad Mahrez, because he just does bring that much fun to the game. In terms of the pros then, five-star skills. He can do what he wants in terms of skills on this game, and like I've been mentioning many, many times, he comes out the skills so damn fast with the 99 agility. The balance could uh, play a factor in that in the 93. The dribbling stat in itself is 97, so you can see how good it is. Is. And that's the key stats today in the best stats. 97 dribble and it's one of the best stats. Shot power is another one at 92. And so, yeah, the key stat today is the 99 agility, as you can see on the right hand side of your screen. So, when it comes to skills, he's like a skill and masterclass on this game. You look at like Ronaldinho and players like that, that comes out with skills very, very fast. Neymar, for example. But uh, Maris has to be up there with the likes of Neymar and uh, five star skills on this game as he hammers one in off farming in the background. In terms of the pace, he is very nippy, he's very fast. He's actually Acceleration is great. It is 93. The sprint speed is 87. So he is very fast on this game. And he can pull away from many, many defender and fullbacks. I keep like, forgetting to add fullbacks because he was playing in a 4-3-2-1 where I'd attack the center back. I'd isolate the center back and I'd run at the center back. Whereas if he was on a wing against like a faster kind of fullback, he'd still do the same damage. I reckon he would still do the same damage. Look at him here. He's against the fullback right now. He plays the 1-2 with Hullets. And so he just goes on. He leads the defender inside and he gets the chance to score the goal and score the goal he does do because in front of goal his finishing it's very clinical he's got 90 composure and 90 finishing in terms of the scoring goals inside the area that is now outside the area like I've mentioned he is just that good on this game the dribbling is another pro with the card because his dribbling is flawless it literally is flawless and it adds to that the four star weak foot because you can go right you can go left you can do what you want in terms of that four star weak foot and it's very very overpowered on this game and so I'm going to let some gameplay kind of run in the background just to show you what he's like in general gameplay after my final goal I did score well I showed you eight goals out of the ten that he did score as inside the area here and that should have been a pen man that was a stone wall penalty he goes down easily that is one of the kind of cons with the card the strength of the card it's not very good yes he's evasive but I would recommend you skill all the time but he is very weak if he does get touched and he will go to the ground more often than not should he do well should he do should he actually get touched on this game he will go to the ground with the 64 strength and the 50 aggression he's got no fight in him whatsoever does Riyad Mahrez which is one of the downsides of the card as it's a great defensive block in the background in terms of the other con it's the movement he's got medium to medium work rates I know he's attacking position in his 96 but at the same time his movement it's just not there it's just not there with the medium to medium sometimes you've got to force it sometimes you've got to hold LB to make them do the runs and whatnot and that will kind of frustrate you after a time and then um, yeah in terms of finishing abilities it's great I've been through the cons I've been through most of the pros the pros the pros I don't know what the pros is that sounds like a plow but anyways <laughs> in terms of the wing play he's a great winger on this game because he can go outside he can cross it in he's got 95 cross or something like that or you can cut inside and just bloody bang it for days because as you've seen in this review uh, his long shots are truly tremendous that was kind of alliteration I'm kind of proud of myself saying that but anyways guys on to the rating I'm going to give the card on the value for coins and whatnot. In terms of the overall rating, uh, he's going to get a 9.7. He's got coins going against him, which bring the rating down. But um, yeah, enjoyment level, enjoyment factor, and enjoyment skill, whatever you want to kind of add to this review, uh, let me know because this card was very, very enjoyable. And I'd give him a 10 out of 10 uh, on the ranking system for that. In terms of the value for coins, he's getting a 10 out of 10 as well. I think that's the first team this season I've looked at and thought, you know what? For 200 or less than 300k, I should say, uh, it's amazing. This card is amazing for less than that, and he does uh, kind of warrant uh, you to buy this card and experience the card at least once on this game, because he is very cheap, and I know what you're thinking, a team of season for less than 300k, uh, that's cheap, yeah, yes it is, for a player of like Riyad Mahrez's qualities, yes it is, so he's getting a 10 out of 10 value for coins, division ready, definitely champs ready, he proved that to me, similar players, we've got Neymar in there, we've got Hazard, of course Neymar with the 5 star skills, Hazard with his dribbling of 97 is quite similar to Riyad Mahrez's 96, and of course, 
team of the year, Lionel Messi. He's quite similar in terms of the abilities with Messi, but um, I don't know. I reckon uh, Messi will just uh, pip the, this player, but... Uh, yeah, I love Mares, man. Mares on this game. He's the best right midfielder or right winger in the Premier League, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I'll just give him that rating. But anyways, guys, hope you have enjoyed this review. If you have, once again, bring that amazing hype you've been bringing to every single review and smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time.